What's up everybody, what's up? Extreme Outdoors, this is Junior. And today we are going out, offshore. We're gonna go trolling for tuna, mahi. I've been watching everybody slaying it out there. It's just me and the wife today. We're on the inauguration trip for the Robalo 246 Cayman with the Sky Deck. So today we have the weedless squid rigs that we're gonna be trolling along. We got two, we got the, the silver and we got the pink and they're weighted. And then we got the mahi pitchers on the other two Connolly rods with the stellar reels. And we're gonna see what we can get. Let's keep our fingers crossed and we'll bring it to you real soon. Down there, ground level driving out. We got to 300 feet and uh, we can't, it's a beautiful day. We got flat calm waters. We got land that way, boats that way. Just about, you know, clear, clear, clear. Check this out. So now we're gonna bring it up here to the second station and we're gonna scout and see if we see any birds, if we see any fish. And we see seaweed lines, and we're gonna take it from up here. No luck on the troll. So me and the wife have decided that we're gonna try our luck here in a spot out of Key Largo near the reef edge. So we're using a piece of chopped ballyhoo. We didn't come fully prepared for this type of fishing, but we came semi-prepared. So we're using a piece of chopped ballyhoo on a two ounce snapper rig. And we're going to launch this sucker back. And see what it got. And leave that sucker right there. And I'm gonna set up my wife's. She has a one ounce snapper rig on her Connolly rod. Hers is purple, beautiful rod. Here you go, baby. Hold on. I'm gonna get this chunk right here. Bam. And look at her. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And boom, just like that, fish in the water. And now let's see what we got. Yes, you are on. Damn, my wife got the first fish. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. You don't want to get into rock. Hold on. Let's tighten this up. All right, go. Pull up and root and reel. Damn. She was no time. Pull up, baby. Pull up. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, damn. You need help? Yeah. All right, let me help you, baby. Oh, this must be a grouper or something. He got into a rock. Oh yeah, he definitely got into a rock. Oh no! Oh man! Oh, that must have been a good fish. Yeah, we ripped the hook right out of his mouth. Let's do it again, honey. Damn! Woo! Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> man, you, you dumped it right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Faster. Yeah, you just gotta be faster. When I told you, like, pull up, pull up right then and there. Cause you had him. I know he pulled all that line and he went right into that rock. Here you go, honey. She's gonna get back on it. She's gonna do it again. Damn, we had it. I think I have a fish on. Yeah, I think I do. Let's see what it is. Oh, I see him. Oh, man, he's coming in like sideways. Is it a little grouper? Oh my god, it's a little strawberry grouper. It's the tiniest strawberry grouper I've ever seen in my life. Guys, look at this little ass tiny. Strawberry grouper. Look, guys, no lie. Look at this guy's mouth. Oh my god. Look, he can't even close his mouth right now. The glutton has mo. Oh my god. Am I, I going to make sure I'm recording this? Yes, I am. Look at this little guy's mouth. 
Yeah, I'm gonna free you up, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. All right, and guys, look at that tiny little guy. <sighs> Off he goes. Yep. Oh yeah, I'm on. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't know what it is, but it's giving me a good head tug, and I'm not giving him any leeway. He's coming in. I think it's a mangrove snapper. Another freaking grunt. Guys, if you, if you guys watch our episodes, you know how much I hate these fish. I hate these fish. This is like the biggest grunt ever. The thing is like... Oh my gosh. Yeah, a bunch of mangrove snappers back here. A bunch of mangrove snappers back here. Yeah, right at the edge of the boat, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're looking at me. Oh yeah. See that guy's black. They hit him and they're hitting me for sure. Oh, oh shit. God. What are you doing wrong? Yeah, wrong but I'm, about to, I'm about to catch one of these right now. Oh my god, that's a nurse shark. A huge nurse shark. Yeah. He just went that way. Look at him right there. He's right in there. You see him down there? Oh. Oh, yeah. Bam. What is it? Mangrove snapper. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Never fails. Yep. Never fails. Yep. Mangrove snapper. Perfect. Meal. Love <laughs> Yeah, baby. We're literally in like 15 feet of water. There was nothing out there in the ocean. So we came to harvest our meal here in Mangrove City. We're out in a patch reef. Me and my wife. You took your bait? Mm -hmm. Are these any good? The mangroves? No, the, the little bally that's way over there? I would change it. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe that's what's happening. Yeah, I would use the, the, the main body. Switch this up. They're not liking this tail too much. It has me a piece of body. We can throw those tails into the water. That way they eat off of that. And then, uh, they'll, they'll hit this without hesitation. This is hard. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm on. Mangrove snapper in the boat. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh man, it's a big one. He sucked the hell out of that hook. Yeah, I didn't bring none of my D hookers. But... Yes, alright baby, now it's your turn. Hey, the feisty guy. Oh my god, what the f Did you record this? Oh my god, no! What the f What the f was that? <gasps> Did 
Did you see that? No. Oh my god, that thing was giant, whatever it was. We got three fish in the box. I forgot to hit go on the last one. We caught some type of snapper. I'm not sure what it is. I'm gonna have to look it up when I get back home, but he's going in the box. And he's already in the box. I'll show you that later, guys. Oh. Again? A nurse shark. I literally see him. Look at him. You see him? Look, guys. I hooked a nurse shark. With this rig, I could probably land them. Ah, oh, there you go. And I got my rig back. Did I? Oh, oh, did I? Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. That looks weird. It does look kind of weird. All right, all right, all right, guys. Well, we went out. We went to about 400 feet, we went to the island, we out of home, to the Key Largo Pena Camp. We trolled forever. Didn't catch anything on the troll. There was no seaweed, there was clear water, there was a little bit of algae build up. But it was a pretty beautiful day. So then we started, you know, spot fishing, bottom fishing in a couple of different areas. Um, we caught the little grouper. We had a big bite, took off. Then uh, we moved spots, we went to another spot, nothing, it was dead. We came over here off of Key Largo and Pena Camp into a patch reef here and we were able to catch two two mangrove snappers some other type of snapper which i'm going to look it up and um and a bunch of grunts that we ended up throwing back and uh, nobody wants a grunt but then we hooked up on something big that just ran off with my line i'm like oh man it's something big and it broke off so it could have been a shark could have been a giant mutton i wasn't ready for that with that rig whatever it was he got to live another day but we're gonna make a nice mangrove meal and a mystery fish meal we'll find out what it is we'll bring it to you we'll cook it up and now we're gonna go to the sandbar me and my beautiful wife and we're gonna enjoy the rest of this beautiful monday thank you guys mangrove snappers and the porgies that we caught with the wife when we went out fishing and uh, yeah we spent a lot of time out there and how we were able to get those three fish it's fishing not catching luckily we were able to catch something and we're putting together this meal now so today we have a very special treat we are going to do coconut encrusted snapper and porgy we're gonna encrust it with the coconut sweetened coconut flakes then we're gonna fry them up and then we're gonna do a special glaze over it we bought from Jammin a local preserves manufacturing company here in Miami guava jalapeno jam so we're gonna kind of heat this up a little bit in the pan let it glaze on and we're gonna put this as a topping to this coconut encrusted fish and we're gonna top that off with a green salad and some type of white rice all right guys so here we go I have prepared everything here. So we have flour, egg already beaten. We have panko breadcrumbs with sweetened coconut already mixed in, sweetened coconut flakes. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this garlic powder on the fish. Just a little bit. And then we're gonna get a little bit of complete seasoning. And we're going to go ahead and sprinkle this on too. Because we don't want bland tasting fish. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of like massage all this in. Mix all the fish up together. Get it to, you know, get all this flavor. Bam, bam, bam. So we don't have salty fish. And so we don't have bland fish. Then, we grab the piece. 
drop in the flour. Make sure we get a nice good coat of flour. And we drop it in the egg. Bam, bam, bam. After we have a nice egg coating, we drop in the panko. And we make sure we get a nice, good covering of panko breadcrumbs with coconut and then off to the staging area so we're going to do this to all the pieces of fish and then we're going to bring it back with the finished products while we don't bore you but in the meantime i want to take advantage of this moment and ask you guys if you guys are enjoying this go and hit the like button subscribe to our channel and um, let me know, drop a comment, let us know what you think of our cooking sessions and if this looks like something that's advertising to you. I always respond to the comments or I'll like it if there's nothing else to respond. Also, our website is up extremepreserve.com and we will be putting up our shirts, which we have just uh, got our logo. As you guys can see, we changed the logo up. We have the shirts ready to be uh, produced or pro whatever. They're going to get made. Those shirts are going to go into production and we're going to be bringing them to you within the next uh, three weeks or so. We're really excited. The logo is bad, super bad actually. And, um, and we would love to see what you guys think. And if you guys want to use our merch, we're going to be doing some giveaways for some of our merch also. So let us know what you think. So these are ready, crusty fingers. Now we have preheated the oil. So we have the oil going on here. Should be, yeah, that feels just about warm. I'm gonna burn myself. So we're gonna go ahead, transfer this over to this side. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our fish in. Got a nice low heat setting. We're not trying to get this too crispy too fast. Now we got this cooking. We're gonna go ahead and Preheat this back here, and we're gonna get our guava jalapeno jam. That's gonna be our reduction sauce, as some would call it. I never really understood what reduction sauce was, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a good amount. Just put it here in this pot and let it warm up, kind of get a little liquidy. So we're gonna go ahead and fry all these up. Plate it. We're doing this with some white rice, which we have cooking over here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And a nice Mexican style salad. That's where I go put it. All right, guys, taste test time. We got beautifully dished and you know, plated that dishes. Okay, the XO in our guava jalapeno jam. And now, we bite into this and see just how delicious this combination is. A little bit of scallions, a little bit of rice, a little bit of fish, the spicy guava. Mm. Mm. No gamey taste whatsoever. Doesn't even feel like I'm eating fish. Matter of fact, that boom, there's the kick. Always comes in a little late. It's good. Yeah, a little spice to it is real good. Mmm, actually delicious. Really, really good. Hey, put the camera down. Come here with me. Thank you guys. Stay extreme and keep watching.